Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be beginning our let's play for Crash Team Racing and um, we're going to go ahead and play the adventure mode. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into that now. And I think we will play... Um, I mean we've got to go with classic mode. Play the original experience just like it was back in the days. One character from the beginning to the end, no customization or difficulty settings, but still get all the rewards. Um, Nitro Fuel, you can, you know, do uh, some of the customization stuff. But I think we'll, we'll stick with classic. We're going to go with classic. It's, it's got to be that way. Um, we're just going to do all the races. I, I'm not going to go through all the, um, you know, the extra stuff that you can do, the, the little challenges and stuff we're just going to go through adventure mode all the main races in, in each area and all the bosses um uh, yeah just in all honesty i have not got the stamina to go through all the extras um i did that years ago and um just now i just want to have fun with the races and um, let's see uh let's see let's go ahead um characters oh i mean i think we've, we've got to go with crash don't we we can't We've got to go with Crash, yeah. We've got to go with Crash. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I picked the game up back at launch, and um, when I picked the game up, I, I, I've only really been playing the online mode. Um, I just had to jump straight into online and get my fix of the game. Uh, with the first week it came out, I just played it um, online quite a bunch. to test my skills. It's a little game I call Survival of the Fastest. Here's the way we play. I challenge the best driver of your world to a race for the planet. If your driver wins, I'll leave your miserable little rock alone. But if I win, I will turn your entire globe into a concrete parking lot and make you my minions. Get ready to race for the fate of your planet! There's the man himself. Welcome to the adventure area. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp pads which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a race track, drive into a warp pad that has an active warp vortex and it will take you to the track's starting line. Finish the track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will unlock. Good luck, and drive fast. Okay, let's get going then. Um, 
the beginning of adventure mode. But it crashed there just till I, I still can't get over how, how good this game looks. They really have done a fantastic job with this. Um, uh, yeah, I mean everything just down to the graphics, the the little details they've added in, um, and just how authentic it feels to the original. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, um, just compete in all the races, and we're gonna go through this uh, and just have some fun. I love the I love the tracks in this game. Some of the later tracks are just outstanding. Some of the best you'll find in any video game. Crash Cove. Now I'm assuming I should be able to win some of these early ones pretty easily, but if for any reason I don't, I mean I think I'll cut out all the all the failed attempts just to kind of save um, you guys having to watch that over and over. But if um, you want me to keep them in, just let me know. Polar bears out there in the, in the lead. You got a good little start. Oh, I thought I was going to time that there. I'm going to get that polar bear. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Oh, he's just got away. I was about to get the the jump there, I used my, my boost. He got me just in time. You know what? He might um Is that gonna get him? No, it's not. This one will do. That's it, that's it, we've got it, we've got it. Oh, damn. We missed it, we missed it. Luckily we got those rockets. I wouldn't have tried that if I didn't have the rockets, but I knew I had the rocket there, so I knew I could, um, you know, just take them out if I, if I failed, which I did. Oh, I missed it! I missed it! No! Oh, whoa, whoa! That was that was so lucky. That that was so lucky. That rocket there. Oh, I was lucky there, and I I I messed around a little bit too much there. <laughs> but um, I got really lucky with the boxes on that one. Okay. Good start. Good start. Oh yeah, Crash is just like, suck it. Congratulations, you win a trophy. You can go faster through turns by power sliding. Press the okay. power slide button while performing a hard turn.
Yeah, one of the things I've noticed is um, over, over the last you know couple of years, I've played a hell of a lot of Mario Kart 8, and one of the biggest challenges coming back into playing Crash is getting used to the the difference between the drifting. My my, my reflexes are, are so inclined to you know do it the way that it feels for Mario Kart 8. Um, and that just, that's really bad for this game, like I mean, in Mario Kart 8 you can jump into a slide and then you can, you, and you can jump into a drift and then you can push your drift away, whereas this one, um, you, you're, you're pulled in more, um, so the, you, the timing is so different, and yeah, I mean, it's, hopefully we can uh, sort that out, because if we don't, um, get our act together soon. Some of these later races are going to be pretty challenging. I think it's um, it's the uh, first boss and this one is um, uh, Ripper Roo. Ripper Roo. in this area. Ruse tubes again. Wonder what that big skeleton is. It's gotta be some sort of like Mosasaur or something. Nothing worse than getting hit by a rocket right at the start of a Ah oh, I was about to I was about to rage quit right there. Dingo Dial trying to catch up with me, come on man! We need someone to take Tiny out. Tiny, oh that's not going to be good enough. Oh come on man, I'm not your enemy. Unless we get something here that we can use to boost. Oh! Oh no no no! <laughs> oh we got it! We got it! Oh that was so... Oh that was so lucky. Oh I can't believe we got that one there. That was so lucky that. That had no skill to it. That was, that was all luck. But I'll take it. First place with luck is still first place. Another lovely golden trophy to our collection. Man, Tiny put up a good fight there. Dingo Dial was, you know, right on my ass as well. I hate that Dingo. Congratulations! You win a trophy.
To get a turbo boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black. Then press the power slide button. If you wait too long, you'll hear a backfire sound and miss your chance for a boost. Mystery Caves up next, and then we got Rue, um, Ripper Rue, the boss fight there, and we've got, what have we got, that's the next area, the save game, and oh yeah, the sewer one. You must have two boss keys to open this door. You can race a boss after beating all four tracks in an area. Beat the boss in a boss race, and the key is your prize. Okay. Mystery Caves. I think this is the track um, with the with the little turtles that you need to bounce on. They've been pretty annoying in um, online matches. I, I I just I don't like the feel of them. They they kind of tend to bounce you up in the air more more than propel you forward, and I feel like you lose a lot of speed. Um, sometimes I feel it's better just to go through the middle of them. Uh, if you've got enough speed, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I love all the little details, you know, the little pterodactyls, little triceratops there. There's one little pterodactyl here at the top of the CTR sign as well. Just awesome. Yeah Out of my way, tiny. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, that ball almost hit me. Is that the polar bear? <laughs> well, we're doing okay at the moment. See if we can get. Oh, that was a. Oh, we need to get something good here. We need to get something good. Come on. Oh, oh, you know what? That's okay. We got the boost. That's gonna slow the the guy behind me down. Whoa. Oh no no no! Come on come on come on come on! You know what? I'm gonna save this rocket. It could be valuable. Actually, I might need to use it up. Don't know if that'll reach, but. Oh, it did! It got him. That could be. That could be so vital here. Oh, come on! Please, please don't clear that. Yes. 
Oh god, we just need to hope nobody gets a rocket. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got it, we got it. Tiny, Fur, Coco, Cortex, Dingo, Dastardly Dial, Dr. Engine, and Polar, right in last. You know, Polar put himself a good little fight sometimes, but, you know, he didn't do good there. Probably too humid. to that sewer one now and then we've got the boss fight and then that should be all of this area cleared out all the races at least like I said you know, we've got the I think there's some sort of like crystal challenge and then there's the challenge where you need to win the race and get the CTR but um, we're not gonna do that that, that would just take too long um, and all the editing involved I just really can't be bothered another gold trophy Congratulations, you win a trophy. When you get a TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. If you react fast and hop enough times, the TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. even just a little touch there if you looked up in in those sewers and um, you know there's some little creature just hanging out in there it's just so cool Sewer Speedway. One of those levels that just looks disgustingly beautiful in this uh, remake. Thanks, you're gonna do me like that. You're my guy online as well. Well until I until I unlock the the big bad Komodo. That's a bit of a glitch there. That's not really fair that 
Um, up on the, the higher part of that wall, there's a little bit that catches the car, and it doesn't seem like there's anything there that suggests it should be catching it. Oh, come on. Bloody poor there. Oh, we timed that really well. Oh, that's, that is not good. That is not good. We got it, we got it. Polo just needs to take a chill. Yeah. And Coco right in last place, my god. Dingo Dial does pretty good again. Polar always seems to do really good on this uh, level. A new skin, Skunky Crash. I'll be using that. Although I do like my, my scuba crash skin. And I think that means we're on to the boss fight then for this first level, which is Ripper Roo. Gonna throw some TNT crates at me, try and slow me down. I love that podium. Cortez seems to be taking that pretty bad. Oh, here he comes. He's so cool. Okay, so let's play Ruse Tubes again and the boss fight with Ripper Roo. Uh, unfortunately, the, uh, my controller seems to, the, the R1 button seems to have decided to start click sticking in. And that's a new controller as well, so I've had to go back to my old controller just to use like a functional R1 button, which is a bit annoying. Because that controller, I've only been using that about two months. I'm sure it'll loosen up eventually, but right now, especially for how essential the R1 button is in this game, I can't, it's just not playable. This guy really is, ah, oh, so annoying. What are we doing? What are we doing?
There you go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to... So what it is, is the, the black controller that I got that came with the PlayStation. I actually, if any of you watched my unboxing for the PlayStation 4, I, I picked up a blue one at launch because I love blue and they had that there and I've, I've always used that one up until like about two months ago because the blue one was just, the analog sticks just wore down to the point where they're just really not usable anymore but I've got caps on them and, uh, but I decided just to crack the, the one out that came with it, the black one um, so I've only been using this two months and already the R1 button I think um, it's just like it's clicking down and just not coming up easily um, so it's making it hard to do like jumps and stuff but anyway hopefully that is not a permanent thing and we can get that fixed but we got we got through that in the end anyway <laughs> Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. Okay guys, so that's us done the the uh, first uh, the first area. Obviously, you know, you've got the um, extra challenges that you can do. But we're not going to go and do them. Um, we are going to go and save our game though. This is the load save screen. There are five of these screens, one in each world section. When you want to load or save a game, go to one of these screens. To access it, Drive up to the screen and follow the directions. Okay, so we'll just overwrite this one. There we go. Oh, oh I forgot about the horn. <laughs> but that's us uh, cleared out the first area. And uh, in the next part, we'll clear out the second area. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned. <laughs>